What's up guys, welcome to the conclusion of the CSV to DynamoDB using Lambda video. In this video, we're going to write the contents of our CSV file to a DynamoDB table. Amazon DynamoDB is a fully managed NoSQL database service that offers speedy performance and scalability to store and retrieve any amount of data. Before we can write data into DynamoDB, we need to create the table where the data will be stored. So just go back to your AWS console, just click on services, type DynamoDB, and then open in a new tab. Go to the tab. When it opens up, just make sure you're in the same region as the S3 bucket and the Lambda. My region was EU West 1, which is Ireland. And if you click here, you can confirm. EU West 1 is Ireland. As you can see, I don't have any DynamoDB tables in this region. If you have tables, your interface will look different to mine. So just look for where there is the create table button and click on it. When the create table page opens up, just go to table name and then put in the name of our table. I'm going to name mine movie characters. And then on the primary key, which is also known as a partition key, I'm going to put in actor ID. I'm going to click on this drop down here and select number as our primary key, which is actor ID is a number. I'm not going to add any tags and then just click on create to create our table. As you can see, the table is being created. When the table creation is complete, just click here on items and you see that we don't have any items. This is because this is a brand new table. But after we write the contents of our CSV file, we'll have some items here. Now let's go back to our Lambda function and write the code to persist our CSV contents to the DynamoDB table we just created. So just click the Lambda function tab and then click on here. Scroll up to the function code and then just put the case on the last item that we wrote. So just like we created an S3 client, we need to create a DynamoDB client. So just scroll up where we have the S3 client and then type in DynamoDB is equals to borrow3.client and this time instead of S3, we're gonna have a DynamoDB client. We also need to give it the region. So just put in a comma and then region name. Is equals to region. Now just scroll down to after our print statement and then type in the following. Add to DB is equals to DynamoDB put item open the brackets and then here we're gonna put in the table name which is equal to movie characters and then we're gonna put a comma and then we're gonna put in the items item is equals to and then you open brace and then we're gonna have four items Actor ID, first name, surname, and salary. So I'm going to put in actor ID, colon, and then open brackets. And then put a comma for the next item. And then here I'm going to put N. Remember our actor ID is a number. So put N there, and then semicolon. And then we're going to convert it to a string. And then actor ID. I'm just going to copy this for the rest. And then I'm just going to modify this from actor ID to first name. This one to surname. And then the last one to salary. And then I'm going to modify this from number to string. And the surname is also a string. And then the salary is a number, so that's fine. And I'm going to change this one to first name and then this one to surname and the last one to salary. I'm just going to add a confirmation that the records were successfully added to the DynamoDB table. So I'm going to come here 
and then print successfully added the records to the DynamoDB table. With this, we are finished writing the code that will write the CSV file contents to our DynamoDB table. Let's just save it. Now let's click on test to test it. As you can see on the execution results, it managed to read the CSV file for the first record and then it gave us an error that a requested resource was not found. What does this mean? It basically means that it could read the CSV, pass it, and when it was about to put in the first record into the database, it couldn't find the table. So if you come here to our DynamoDB console tab, you can see that the table name is called movie characters. And if I come back to my code and then look at the table name, you see I put in movie character instead of movie characters. So if I just put an S there and then save and then test again, we should have no problems. As you can see here, it managed to go through all the records in the CSV and then it put them in the database. If you come to the DynamoDB tab here and then just do refresh, you can see all the records here. Just a quick question. Please tell me in the comments below what you think will happen if I send another CSV with the same act IDs but different values. Now let's just go back to our code to do a cleanup. That is basically deleting all these print statements. And maybe I'll just paste this out and then save. We're done. In the next video, I'll show you how you can send JSON to DynamoDB as well as update the existing records. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel to support us and I'll catch you in the next one.